Question 1. What is Data Mart? Answer. Data Marts is used on a business division, department level. A Data Mart only contains the required subject-specific data for local analysis. A database or collection of databases designed to help managers make strategic decisions about their business. Data Marts are usually smaller and focus on a particular subject or department. Some Data Marts, called Dependent Data Marts, are subsets of large data warehouses. A data mart is a simpler form of a data warehouse focused on a single subject or functional area, such as sales, finance, marketing. HRETC data mart represents data from single business process. Question 2. What is difference between drill and scope of analysis? Answer. Drilling can be done in drill down, up through, and across. Scope is the overall view of the drill exercise. Question 3. Explain metadata. Answer. Metadata is data about data. E.g. if in data mart we are receiving any file, then metadata will contain information like how many columns, file is fixed width, limited, ordering of fields, data types of field etc. Metadata is data about data. Metadata comes in picture when we need to know about how data is stored and where it is stored. Metadata tool is helpful in capturing the business metadata and the following sections explain business metadata. Metadata tools are using for gathering, storing, updating, and for retrieving the business and technical metadata of an organization. Question 4. Explain what is type 2 version dimension. Answer. Version dimension is the SCD type 2 in real time it using because of it will maintain the current data and full historical data. In SCD type 2 we have flag, version and timestamp. Type 2 reveals about contain historical and current data. Whenever the current data gets in version was changed. Question 5. What is data validation strategies for data mart v? Answer. Data validation strategies are often heavily influenced by the architecture for the application. If the application is already in production it will be significantly harder to build the optimal architecture than if the application is still in a design stage. If a system takes a typical architectural approach of providing common services then one common component can filter all input and output thus optimizing the rules and minimizing effort. There are three main models to think about when designing a data validation strategy. Accept only known valid data. Reject known bad data. Sanitize bad data. We cannot emphasize strongly enough that accept only known valid data is the best strategy. We do however recognize that this isn't always feasible for political financial or technical reasons and so we describe the other strategies as well. All three methods must check data type syntax length. Question 6. What is the difference between a data warehouse and a data mart? Answer. Data mart is something which consists of only one type of data whereas that warehouse consists of data of different type. For example, all the organization data say data related to finance department, HR, banking debt are stored in data warehouse whereas in data mart say only finance data will stored. So data warehouse is a collection of different data marts. A data mart is a subject-oriented database which supports the business needs of individual departments within the enterprise. It is an subset of the enterprise data warehouse. It is also known as high-performance query structures. Question 7. Explain what is data validation strategies for data mart validation after loading process? Answer. Data validation is generally done manually in DWH. In this case, if source and TGT are relational, you need to create SQL scripts to validate source and target data. And if source is flat file or non-relational database, you can use Excel if data is very less or create dummy tables to validate your ETL code. Question 8. What is type 2 version dimension? Answer. Version dimension is the SCD type 2 in real time it using because of it will maintain the current data and full historical data. 
Question 9. What is data validation strategies for data mart validation after loading process? Answer. Data validation is generally done manually in DWH. In this case, if source and TGT are relational, you need to create SQL scripts to validate source and target data. And if source is flat file or non-relational database, you can use Excel. If data is very less or create dummy tables to validate your ETL code. Question 10. For faster process, what we will do with the universe? Answer. For a faster process create aggregate tables and write better SQL so that the process would fast. Question 11. What is metadata? Answer. Metadata is data about data. Example, if in data mart we are receiving any file, then metadata will contain information like how many columns, file is fixed width, limited, ordering of fields, data types of field etc. Question 12. What is data validation strategies for data mart v? Answer. Data validation strategies are often heavily influenced by the architecture for the application. If the application is already in production it will be significantly harder to build the optimal architecture than if the application is still in a design stage. If a system takes a typical architectural approach of providing common services then one common component can filter all input and output thus optimizing the rules and minimizing efforts. Question 13. Briefly state different between data warehouse and data mart. Answer. Data warehouse is made up of many data mart. DWH contain many subject areas. However, data mart focuses on one subject area generally. E.g. If there will be DHW of bank then there can be one data mart for accounts, one for loans etc. This is high level definitions. Question 14. What a data mart? Answer. Data mart is a segment of a data warehouse that can provide data for reporting and analysis on a section, unit, department or operation in the company. Example, sales, payroll, production. Data marts are sometimes complete individual data warehouses which are usually smaller than the corporate data warehouse.